right, the next one we'll be taking a look at is going to be LVGI. Again, another stock that we have not taken a look at before. Uh, so let's dig into here and see what's going on. Um, I can put that resistance level up here when we get to it. And actually, you know what? I'm going to do it right now while we're looking at it. Um, go up a little bit. There we go. Right around that area. Let's see if I can zoom in. All uh, right. Okay, so what do I mean exactly by this resistance level? You're currently at triple zero three. Uh, coming back to here, I mean, we can actually put another one, which I don't think is going to be one hundred percent relevant just yet. Uh, it will be though, um, if this stock continues to keep going uh, the way that it's been, and that's going to be up here a little bit higher around the zero zero one five area. Uh, let's let's see what's going on. All right. Back here in 2015, you had this this spike where you got up to um, pull up the high of 0010 right here on that area. And then basically for so long now, um, you guys come up to that resistance level and just pounds off of it. And then drops back down, comes up to it, couldn't hold it. Again, pounds up, comes up. And you guys get the idea. Can't get past that area for a very, very long time. Uh, but interest is building now. You know, you're starting to see a lot more people talking about this one. Um, and the volume has been slightly picking up. It looks like that dude was a big load up over here. Uh, or a lot of shares being bought up. 146 million, uh, 47 million, and then 36. You guys get to point 83. 83. And then it just drops. So, Joe, while I'm looking at this, if you could... A pull up around December 13th, around uh, beginning of December, for basically the month of December, kind of get an idea of what could have been, caused that big spike in volume uh, because then there was another one back in September. But really, I, I want to pay attention to what's going on in December. And then after that, everything went silent, and now it's starting to pick back up again. So what's the deal with this one uh, as far as the chart goes? You guys have been consistently trading right now uh, between that, triple zero two and triple zero three area get inside that channel everything's tightened up right now as far as the charts concerned but what is going to be going on the volume is coming up really nice and steady right now uh are the shares getting locked up from back in here it's possible it's possible so when you have a large share market like that and a lot of people buying them up i mean you obviously see that they were all green solid days and i mean i'm not going to add that all up right now but we're talking five uh, five hundred million shares bought up in the span of two weeks okay and then basically it went silent and now starting to pick back up is this one getting set up for a move possibly uh i i can't guarantee you anything but i what i will definitely say is that if you start hitting um the triple zero four area i don't really see too much off of that okay so you start hitting that triple zero four area Put this one on a radar. It could be setting up your next resistance off. Of that's going to be the double at triple zero six. And after that, zero zero one zero and zero zero one five. So it starts spreading out after that. But I think that if you start making it through triple zero six, you're going to move up to those levels fairly quick. All right. So you're talking about the 15th on that day right there. It was, <clears throat> let's see, there was a attorney letter with respect to current information. So right now they're pink current. So I'm guessing that attorney letter pretty much helped make that happen with them uh, doing their quarterly reports on the December 2nd. So there's two issued on that day. And then an annual report on the October 12th. So I mean, you could pull that up. But uh, I'm going to go, let's see, they're, they haven't had a press release since September 7th, 2016. So there's no, no, you know. No press releases. I'll just do the, the company profile for now. It's a limitless venture group known as the Brand Builders is a development, uh, development stage company dedicated to the production, distribution, and marketing of unique quality product lines. LVGI acts as a brand incubator, bringing products from concept to reality, then releasing them as standalone companies. Limitless Venture Group Incorporated is a full-service brand development company with an in-house biochemical engineer, engineering and formulations department, in-house brand identity team, full graphics department, as well as an experienced and highly motivated group of marketing professionals. Limitless Venture Group Incorporated and its group of diversified wholly owned subsidiaries have four product lines ready to go to market. 
through our Limitless Body Incorporated sub, we have our Limitless Body and Limitless Health product lines, fully developed, tested, and ready for full production. Limitless Venture Group Incorporated also controls as a 100% wholly owned subsidiary named Limitless Brands Incorporated. Limitless, Limitless Brands Incorporated serves as our alcoholic brand division. Slim Infusion Infusionation is our line of RTD, ready to drink alcoholic shots aimed at the virtually untapped grab and count grab and go counter item space for the massive alcoholic industry or alcohol industry slam has its own formulation graphics and market department though limitless health uh, so long for, <laughs> it's a long business description i get i basically i guess yeah they got a lot going on so i mean i'd go into their quarterlies and see what they're making with all these companies and then see what's going on because you know anything's possible all right so that's like pretty much that Dave. All right, as far as uh, the information that Joe just went over, you can get this over on investorshangout.com, the company profile, time and sales, recent news, filings and financials, and the message board. Everything here is completely free, unlimited posts, messages from user to user, uh, all at your fingertips. Here's the time and sales too. It's another great feature that Investors Hangout offers. Uh, it looks like that the last time it was traded, you guys had 40 million uh, hit over here on um, 2.3. You guys can see right there. Uh, so not a ton of shares being traded right now each day, but when it picks up, it really picks up as far as the volume, but it's been steadily picking up, and that's why it kind of caught my radar. LVGI, uh, as far as the chart's concerned, 0003, watch for 0004 to start hitting after this resistance uh, at 0006, 001, and again at 0015. Uh, again, a, a, limit, a limitless venture group, Ticker symbol LVGI. Joe just went over everything while I was uh, taking a look at the news and time and sales. You can get all this at investorshangout.com. If you'd like to watch us do these videos live, request other stocks, check us out at investorshangout.com forward slash live.